Hi everyone, Bob Thomason here. This is my update, uh, the first one I've done this year. This is January, the actually January the 3rd, 2019. So I'm going to kick this off with a C60 update for this year. Uh, first of all, let me say this. This video is my personal experience and should not be taken as any medical advice. I'm not a medical professional and this is offered as entertainment only. So do your own research before you buy anything. Now, it's been a little over a year now since I started taking C60. I've been taking it uh, continuously ever since. Started in November, around the 1st of November 2017, according to my notes. And I have experimented with a lot of different ways to take the C60. Uh, I pretty well settled on a method that I like best. Uh, I purchased this from a company called uh, C60 Labs and they provide a dropper, not a dropper, but a uh, oral syringe in theirs which will measure up to five milliliters at a time. The five milliliters is about a teaspoonful and I'll take that twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. Now, as I've said before, if you're, uh, this can be mildly stimulating, so if you're uh, a little bit sensitive to that stimulation, you might want to take a second dose maybe mid-afternoon, something like that. Don't wait till evening. Uh, it might uh, cause you to be a little restless and you won't want to sleep that well. So, and that, that depends on the individual. It does not affect me at all. I have no problems with that. I've also, I, I take a, a whole group of multivitamins uh, one is a just a multivitamin pack that I get from Melaleuca. I've been doing that for a number of years now. I also take a, a chelated magnesium tablet. I take that once in the morning and once in the evening. And I've just recently started taking uh, a selenium uh, and CoQ10. I decided to add these two to my regimen, but the, the selenium and CoQ10, I just take that once a day, take it in the mornings. And it's too early to tell if that has any, you know, noticeable effect. But, you know, a lot of this stuff doesn't have a noticeable effect on me because I don't have any, any medical issues that I'm uh, working on. I don't take any type of medication. So, and that's good. I feel good. I don't know whether I look good, but I feel good. At any rate, and I have, in the last few months, I started taking the, this uh, C60 with the multivitamins. I do it Monday through Friday, and then I just let my system rest from it on the weekends. Now, I tried that heard somebody suggest that. I tried that for a while to see if it had any effect. I don't see that it makes any real difference and there's a cost savings there. It's, it makes the supplements last a little bit longer and I, for the foreseeable future, I'll continue doing that. Take my stuff Monday through Friday. On the weekend, I don't take any vitamins or C60 or anything like that. So, um, you know, with that, uh, there's been a lot happening around us. So the C60 is a great way to help protect you um, and assist you with better health. Now, one thing I've heard recently, and I think this, um, uh, the reason for, or uh, NASA's reason for Purchasing a C60 manufacturing facility leads to a lot of credibility with this is that C60 
helps you defend against uh, radiation issues. And we get a lot of radiation, you know, in our everyday life just from um, radiation activity that's here, you know, that that's, we're all exposed to. And this helps your body from everything I'm seeing. It, it helps your body... Um, I want to say shield itself from radiation, but I'll use the word shield uh, maybe in quotes because I don't know exactly how it happens. But it does help your body uh, defend against radiation uh, issues. And some of these issues can be uh, affect you long term. So it may not be something that, you know, like you get radiation poisoning, you know, in a tremendously high doses, although that radiation poisoning is one of the things that the um, astronauts have to deal with. So I think that's one of the reasons that the C60 is being used. Uh, that's one of the benefits that uh, I think NASA, I've heard of some others, but I think that's one of the benefits that NASA is looking into. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got for this month. I'll keep this video reasonably short. And I just want to wish everybody a happy new year, happy 2019. Like I say, there's a lot going on. But I think if we keep uh, our heads up and keep trying to be healthy and, you know, live in a healthy manner, I think we'll be good to go. So with that, I appreciate all of you listening. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Just uh, hit the subscribe button down below, and I would really appreciate that. That'll help me alert you every time I got a new video coming up and keep you posted on this. As I say, this is my experience. Happy New Year, everyone. We'll talk to you later.